Today we will share a case about repairing a MacBook that won't turn on. Press the power button. The MacBook won't turn on. Plug in the BY3200 power cable and the input voltage is 20 volts. The current reading on the DC power supply stays at 0.047A. Unplug the power cable. Next, we need to disassemble the MacBook and test. The MacBook model is A1989. Remove the screws. Disconnect the battery connector flex cable. Plug in the BY3200 and the input voltage is 5 volts. The current reading on the DC power supply stays at 0.059A. The power supply of the motherboard is only 5 volts, which is abnormal. The normal power supply should be 20 volts. It indicates that the motherboard has malfunctioned. Then we remove the motherboard. Install the power connector flex cable. The motherboard number is 820085007. Open the schematic diagram and bitmap. U3900 is the T2 chip. U7800 is the power chip. Measure the standby voltage of the T2 chip, which is supplied by the U7800. Find U7800 on the schematic diagram. This table shows the standby voltage of T2 chip. Plug in the power cable. The motherboard current stops at 0.06A and the input voltage is only 5 volts. Measure the power supply of the motherboard. The measured voltage values are normal. It can be judged that the power supply circuit of the motherboard is good. Next, we need to decide if the fault, voltage failing to increase, is caused by T2 chip data problems. Find T2 chip on the bitmap and the location name is U3900. Search U3900 on the diagram and find the ROM chip for T2. Copy signal SPI underscore SACROM underscore MISO. Find SOCROM and the location name is U4770. Find U4770 on bitmap. Find SOCROM, U4770, on the motherboard. Remove SOCROM chip with hot air gun at 430 degrees Celsius. Get the by T200 and write the new SOC ROM data. Attach the chip to the seat of by T200. Pin one of the chip must align with the red dot on the tool. Connect by T200 with the computer. Install the driver. Open as, Programmer. Click Read ID. Select MX25U3235F underscore 1.8 volts. Click Open File. Select a 1989 t 2 ROM original data dot bin. Click Auto Program. Click Yes. Data writing has completed. Unplug by T200. Remove the chip. Solder the chip back to the motherboard.
plug in the power cable. The BY3200 shows an increase in input voltage from 5 volts to 20 volts. The current jump on the DC power supply is normal, which indicates that the motherboard is turned on. Disconnect the power cable. Install the motherboard. Connect the flex cables. Plug in the power cable. The MacBook is turned on and can enter the system. Turn off the MacBook. Install the motherboard screws. Connect the battery flex cable. Put the back cover on and install the screws. Plug in the power cable. Press the power button. The MacBook is turned on and can enter the system. The fault has been cleared. 